Hey, what's up everyone? Mr. Breaky over here. How y'all been? I hope y'all been doing good and all. Right now we're gonna jump into Blender and we're actually gonna be looking into samples. How much samples do I need to make that awesome, clear, crisp image and all that thing of my render? So right now I actually have a demo right now on Blender, which is the classroom, which was configured back in 2.8 of Blender. So as of right now, I'm actually opening it up into Blender 3.2. Just want to give a heads up, let y'all know that that's what I'm running on. And of course, running on Cycles X, along with only GPU power. So we actually are not using the CPU. So this is strictly GPU only, um, using OptiX X, and alongside with the RTX 3090 Ti. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the rendering and we're gonna start off very little and work our way up. And of course, actually at the bottom of the description or uh, maybe in the comments, I do both. Just wanna give a heads up that I'm actually gonna have a link to my website where it'll actually show you all the samples and all everything. And of course, give credit to the actual, you know, artists and all everything that made the classroom, which you can actually, you know, go to Blender and get those demo files and check it out on your site as well. But just wanna give a heads up let you know and all that fun stuff so let's go ahead and jump into it so as you can see right here pretty much i'm in blender 3.2 i already have the open scene everything's not been touched or anything nothing's been you know altered or anything change wise so this is straight out from the blender itself open up the file and as you can see i have it on cycles supported gpu strictly and of course i can actually show you from here preference and RTX, RTX 3090 only. So that's what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and go through here. So we're actually gonna start with one. And we're gonna go ahead and go to render and render image. So it's gonna literally take about, like I wanna say about less than a second and then boom, you get the actual second of the render as you can see. One sample, one second, one frame and this is what's left with okay so clearly as you can see not the greatest but of course you know we're gonna actually try doing denoising see if we can like recover some we're just using one sample so we're gonna go ahead and do that all right so right now i went ahead and turn on denoising so it's still under OptiX. so that way it still uses the gpu instead of the cpu However, though, just a heads up that the CPU is actually not bad. So what it is, is open image denoise, which is your CPU. And just want to give a heads up for that. If you know, if you don't have much power on your GPU, then you can use your actual CPU to do the denoising. As of right now, pretty much want to do everything completely GPU. So just want to give a heads up and we're going to go ahead and do that. And so from here, we're gonna go ahead and do a render again. So we'll see what happens from there. So as of right now, this is literally one sample with denoise on for OptiX and it actually looks pretty good actually. I'm really kind of surprised. Now granted, if you're going for more of a kind of like an oil painting type of style, very like smooth and like kind of like, like everything's kind of like all in one, uh, I guess you could say like color, I guess you could say or something like that in general. Yeah. Like pretty much if you want to go for that look, then definitely do this, do literally one sample of the, um, Alti X denoise because yeah, like that's actually, actually really not bad. I actually like that. All right. So right now we're actually going to do little increments of 10 or times 10 to each one. And so right now we're going to go from one to 10. And of course, GPU settings only. And also, um, I'm actually gonna start saving the images to JPEG. This will be more just to be more optimized on the website itself. Like I mentioned before, the link will be down below if you wanna see the actual images. And of course, you know, I'll also put a link to the actual artist and alongside the Blender files that you wanna check out. So this is open to anyone to just go ahead, download, give it a try, test it out on your site and all that fun stuff.
and there we go so pretty much at the seven minute 17 second mark we have our completed 10,000 samples along with the denoising honestly like uh, like this is this is insane like i don't like bruh <laughs> um like wow it's just it's so clear and amazing i don't know what the denoise did like to even find any kind of noise or anything but it did add a few seconds more compared to just doing the 10,000 samples um beyond that but pretty much yeah like this is woo, this is insane of how clear and crisp it is even at the 10,000 even at the thousand mark was even clear as well but like this is super crisp and so honestly once again you know gonna have the link down below and actually i'm gonna be showing the graphs the images right now um to seeing how long it took and all that thing and just overall you know of course adding more samples in to your scene will give it a much more cleaner look but of course when you're doing animation or any kind of video side that does add you know time and all that thing so just want to give you a heads up kind of found like that that very fine line balance between what is super fast and good um compared to your other stuff there's also other ways to optimize with your scenes and all that thing like your textures how they're loaded in um any kind of like uh rendering size how like how big are you doing it how many frames are you doing it and all that fun stuff but overall just you know kind of samples is a big main one the big thing you want to check out and of course link down below to check out the actual images themselves check out my website and of course i'm also um a very beginner i'm still learning uh but i am making 3d models over on cg trader and turbo squid so if you want to get some of my models and stuff go ahead check those out and of course i'll be seeing y'all around hit the like button Hit the subscribe button with the bell notification and I'll see y'all around. Bye-bye.